Kiki Oga Dawe Me Waswa Kumi Can we sing it out? Kumi Kiki Oga Dawe Me Waswa Yo Kumi I can see I can tell and I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing your praise. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing your praise. Oh. Can you see how far? See how far you go. I'm so glad you found me. Oh, I can see. Oh, I can see. I can see. And I know it's your grace. All my days, I will see. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you because anytime we come before you, there is always a renewal of strength. Anytime we appear before you, there is always an encounter. This morning, Lord, we ask that you visit us as never before. You will show us your mercy. And you grant us access into your presence. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can we have a wonderful seat in the name of Jesus? I want to appreciate my Father and the Lord for this great privilege. And I'm not taking it for granted. May the Lord continue to strengthen him in the name of Jesus. Quickly, this morning, we'll be talking what is titled. Unlocking the power of prayer. Unlocking the power of prayer. And our text is taken from the book of Job, chapter 22, from verse 25 to 30. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall answer thee. And he shall answer and hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. The light will shine upon our ways this morning in the name of Jesus. 29. He said, When men are saying there's a casting down, then thou shalt say there's a lifting up, and he shall save the humble. The last verse. And he shall deliver the Iceland of the innocent. And it is delivered by the pureness of thy heart. Praise the Lord. Quickly, what is prayer? Unlocking the power of prayer. Number one, the most basic definition of prayer is talking to God. The definition of prayer is talking to to God. Not talking to yourself, not talking to the pastor, not talking to the prophet or bishop, but talking to God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Number two, what is prayer? Prayer is a spiritual engagement which must be done in the spirit. They that worship the Lord must worship God in spirit and in truth. In other words, for you to have prayer or what is the definition of prayer is that you must worship God with your spirit. You must worship God with your spirit. Prayer is a spiritual engagement which must done in the spirit. The spirit connects. Praise the Lord. Number three, prayer is an act of communing with God, the Father, and receiving answers. This is where the prayer comes from. 
one of our teachers who taught us just now in a revolution, he talks about communication. Communication cannot be, you cannot say communication has taken place when there is no feedback. Praise the Lord. When you are talking to your son or the, the husband, you are talking to your wife, there must be an answer. The person must understand that what I'm saying, you understand it and receiving answer. So prayer is an art of coming with God, with God the Father and receiving answers. Praise the Lord. Are we following? Prayer is an art of welfare. Most of us will fall into some dangers because our prayer life is zero. So for you to Pray effectively. One of your prayer is an act of welfare. According to, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. Prayer of welfare. What is welfare? We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power. So in other words, prayer is an art of welfare. Anytime you are praying to God, it's a welfare to dislodge the powers of the enemy to put the enemy to where they belongs. And as we pray, our enemies will be under our feet in the name of Jesus. What is prayer? Prayer is a strong weapon in the hand of the Christian. Prayer is a weapon in the hand of a Christian. If you say you are a Christian and you are not praying, I wonder what kind of Christian you are. Because if you go to the other side, there are weapons, you see it. They will shake their as go, 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 and they will do the incantation. You as a Christian, what are you doing? The reason why the Bible talks about it said the children of the world, they are wiser than the children of the kingdom. It's because we are not using what we have. What do you have as a Christian? When you are boasting, you are boasting, what do you have? When you are boasting to that man, when you are boasting your cupboard, what do you have? It's prayer. Don't say prayer. Prayer. Number six, prayer, it is the communication of the human soul with the Lord who created the soul. Where your heart is, there your treasure will be your soul. Many of us, where is your treasure? No wonder they pursue you in the dream. No wonder... Uh, the mosque is pursuing you in your village. Why? Because you have participated in the things of the, 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 the village. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, it is the communication of human soul with the Lord who created the soul. God is the one that created the soul. So in other words, when you are communicating to God, you are communicating with your soul to the soul of the one who has created you. Two of you are in the same frequency. Two of you are in the same range. Number seven, prayer is not meditation or passive reflection. We have Meditation is on its own. After you have prayed, you cannot meditate on what you have prayed about. But when you are communicating to God, when you are praying to God, you are not meditating. You are not, it's not a passive reflection. It is a direct address to God. Direct address to God. Your prayer is not that it will pass through the past office. The pastor will not approve it. And say, let me send it to God. No. Your prayer is a direct access unto God. Praise the Lord. I say, praise Master Jesus. Things to note. Prayer can be audible or silent. Your prayer can be audible or silent. Number two. Prayer can be private or public. Some will tell you that your prayer should be in one place. No. Your prayer can be private 
or public. You can pray in the toilet. You can pray in the car. You can pray anywhere. Pray without ceasing. So your prayer to God is either private or public. You can be, I can be walking now and be praying. I can be eating and be praying. I can be doing anything and be praying. Praise the Lord. So, number three, prayer can be formal or informal. You know how many, many of us they say, we write a letter to somebody who is our boss and they say, well, you address it. Praise the Lord. And so your prayer can be formal or informal. You, I can decide to sit down there and be praying. I can decide to be the toilet and I'll be praying. I can decide to pray to God anyhow I like. Nobody will restrict me. Nobody will tell me the prayer I prayed is too much. No. Your prayer can be formal or informal. Number four. If you don't pray, you become a prey. If you forget everything, don't forget this. If you don't pray, you will become a prey. What is a prey? A prey is something... How will I put it? You can be, you can be attacked, you can be hijacked, you can be, you can be captured anytime. You don't have power on your own. Number five, all prayer must be offered in faith. Thank God we just finished last month was our month of faith. James chapter one from verse six. It talks about faith. Let not your faith be weary. Your faith will not be wavering. So, all prayers be offered in faith. Anytime you are praying to God, you must have faith. Have faith. We were told that faith is a substance of thing hoped for. An evidence of thing not seen. So, your prayer must be in faith unto God. Number six. All prayers must be in the name of our Lord Jesus. There are many who believe in God, but they don't believe in Jesus. There are many who pray to God. Bible says, Jesus was saying that no man comes to the Father except through me. So, you know what? Your prayer must be, must pass through God. If you want your prayer to be answered, they must pass through God. They must pass through the channel which is the Son of God. As John chapter 16 from verse 23. All prayers must be in the name of the Lord. Then they ask, what is the art of prayer? What is the art of prayer? Number one, prayer is a Christian way of communicating to God. Prayer is a Christian way of communicating to God. Every man you see successful, there is a spirit behind that person. I want you to understand, every successful man you see, is either he's being backed up by the spirit of God or by the spirit of the devil. So, prayer is... Is a Christian way of communicating with God. Communication. Talking to God. God give you an, God give you reply and answer. You communicate to God. Number two, prayer. We pray to praise God and thank Him and tell Him how much we love Him. Do you love God? The person you love, you love to communicate to the person. The person you don't love, you avoid him. Is that not correct? The person you love, you always want to communicate to the person. You always want to talk to the person. You always want to have fellowship with the person. So, when we pray, our prayer is to praise God. Just like today. We are praising God. Telling him how much we love him. Because he has first loved us. Number three, what is the art of prayer? 
We pray to enjoy the presence and tell him what is going on in our lives. Many of us, this is where we get it wrong. You can talk to God and tell him what you are going through. You can tell God and tell him, this is my situation. You can tell God and tell him, this is what I'm, this is what I'm passing through. The question is, is God not seeing me? Is God not seeing what I'm going through? God is seeing what you are going through, but he wants you to talk. Seek, you will find. Knock, it shall be open. Is God not aware? Before he said you should seek him, you should knock. And so you need to tell God what you are going through. You have not paid your school fees. You have not paid your house rent. You are going through challenges. Open up to God. One of our sisters said a testimony and said, he told God, you can tell God. Tell him what you are going through. Don't hide it. Instead of you meeting people and telling people your problem, they will laugh at you. When you go finish, say, God, hand, don't touch him. Say, hand, touch him. You think you are telling somebody your problem that can give you solution. You don't know after you have, after you have left the person, the person will be laughing at you. May it come again. Your God is the one you can talk to. He will never fail you. He will never forsake you. He will never abandon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, we pray to make requests and seek guidance and ask for wisdom. I would say wisdom is the principal thing. In this life, you need wisdom. If you don't, if you don't have wisdom, you will die on time. You will not survive the economy. You need wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. Wisdom. You see, our father, one thing I expect our father is, is wisdom. I've, I've been in churches. Some prophets, some prophets, they are very arrogant. They will tell you the thing in public now. Everybody will hear. Then tomorrow they will be using that same thing to be looking at you. But our father will do like Anything he's telling you, you'll be confirming it. Praise the Lord. That is wisdom. If you want to have wisdom, you pray and request. Seek God for guidance and ask him for wisdom. Wisdom for daily life living. Wisdom to overcome the challenges of life. And as we ask God, I declare, let the wisdom rest upon us now in the name of Jesus. God loves this exchange with his children. Just as we love the exchange we have with our children. Fellowship with God is the heart of prayer. God loves an exchange. What is an exchange? Many of us, we have changed dollar. We have changed pounds. When you change dollar, they will give you naira. So in other words, when you pray to God, the exchange of what is God is giving you is an answer to what you ask. Ask and it shall be given. So the exchange is what you, you get when you pray to God. When you have this communication to God. Prayer is an occasional thing. Prayer is not an occasional thing. Many of us, it is when we have a problem we pray. It is when we have challenges that we pray. Prayer is not an occasional thing. It is continuous habit. It's lifestyle for anyone who wants to be great. If you want to be great, let prayer be your lifestyle. Let prayer be something you will be doing continually. Every time. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 18. Psalm chapter 60 from verse 11. Can read that on our own. No man's prayer for you is enough to sustain you. Get this. If you don't get anything, get this thing. No man's prayer. No man's prayer for you is enough to sustain you. The pastor's prayer cannot sustain you. 
What of the time you will be calling the pastor and his phone will be switched off? What of when you are calling the pastor and he's answering under, under, under call? What will you do? You need to equip yourself so that when that challenge is come, because it will come, when we become a Christian, we, we, we encounter difficulties. Many of us, we think that Christianity is bread and butter. Christianity is the hardest thing that can ever, you can ever think of. Because from the day you give your life to Christ, you have become an enemy of the devil. And you have become a prey to them. But because your prayer is effective, the effective prayer of a righteous man availed much. As you pray, God will deliver you from the hands of your enemy in the name of Jesus. Prayer is a personal responsibility which you must do for yourself, by yourself. Is it that the pastor's prayer is not effective? It is. But the one you pray for yourself, no one can love you more than the way you love yourself. Hello? Before I can help you, I will not help you and put you above myself. Have you ever seen such person? You want to employ a person. You are putting the person ahead of you. You will not be under the person. The prayer you will pray yourself, pray for yourself. We will do it for the one another person will pray for you. Prayer is a personal responsibility which you must do for yourself by yourself. Anywhere you see results, someone has prayed. Believe me when I tell you. Anywhere you see results, someone has prayed. If you want to be great, you have to pray effectively. Because the things contending with you are not physical. If God opened our eyes to see what is happening, if God opened our eyes to see what you are going through while you were sleeping the night, do you know how many powers came together because of you? Do you know where they measure your name? And so, if you want to become effectively, you must pray. If you want to be great, if you want to become a prosperous man, a popular woman, you must pray. Because the things contending with you are not physical. You can't see them with your eyes. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Prayerless Christian are powerless Christian. Prayerless Christian, they are what? Powerless Christian. Church, I want you to pray. Let prayer be your lifestyle. Many of us, are, our phones is our first in the morning. You slept in the night. You didn't know what was happening. God woke you up. Do you know how many people died in their, in their sleep? Do you know how many people were rushed to the hospital during the night? The prayer I always pray when I want to sleep is that God, please, don't allow me to cry for help in the middle of the night. Don't allow me to do what? Cry or look for help in the middle of the night. Where nobody will be there. Every child of God is involved in spiritual battle. Therefore, you must pray. Every child of God is involved in spiritual battles. We are fighting battles every day. We are fighting battles every day. I prayed for a lady. Then in the night, I want to ask the person, do you do your place? Do they serve snake? Because I fought with snake in the night. And I want to pray again. I don't pray for the person. Praise the Lord. We are fighting battles every day. We are fighting battles every day. If you are a child of God, you must know that you are fighting battles. Battles you cannot see. Battles from your father's house. Always be on the offensive side. Lastly, always be on the offensive side before an attack gets to you. Children of God, hear me. Don't allow the devil to kill you. Don't allow that wish to kill you. When they have finished killing you, 
They will repent the next Sunday. You will go. Always at if they say, eh, you say, huh? See, I sometimes they will say it's fear. And if you if you hear cockroach in the night, you stop pray. Oh, they can come in cockroach. If you hear we pray, what I say, not be fear. If the court is shake, pray. Many of us will wait. We wait until this thing comes. When they have come to destroy us, then it is too late. The problem we are facing, not because that we don't know, but we, we, we just feel it doesn't matter. It matters all. Things of the spirit. The devil, Bible says, is like a rolling lion. Looking for who to what? Devour. The, see, the devil can wait for you for the next 20 years. He will be watching you. He will be watching you. You will go to school. He will watch you. You will finish. Don't get work now. Now, keke, you go drive. Don't allow them to attack you first. Attack them. Always be on the offensive. Therefore, an attack, before an attack gets to you, pray. Don't wait until you attack or in pain. Pray, 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 pray. When they sick, and then you want to pray. How you want to pray the prayer? You they hungry, now you want to pray. Pray now. God, give me food tomorrow. Pray now. I will not be sick tomorrow. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you forget anything, don't forget this. Anytime you are in your house and you hear cockroach, make me pray. Anytime you caught in wave, pray. Because you don't know when. You don't know what? When. The devil is so trickish. The devil is so stupid. Some people will tell you, devil no gets sense. Devil gets sense. Oh. Devil do what? He gets sense. As devil gets sense, you get sense. Follow him. May your sense pass him. Can we be on our feet? Father, we thank you. We thank you because you are a faithful God. There is nothing that can be done without mention your name. We cannot grow without your name. We cannot excel without your name. We cannot become anything without your name. Lord, we ask of God the grace to pray. Let that grace come upon us. The grace to pray. Let it come upon us. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.